So guys, we've all been there. Summertime in Michigan, <clears throat> blazing heat, absolute deafening sun, and you're out there fishing and you can't get a lick of bites. You're trying everything, you know, you're basically throwing a kitchen sink at them. But I'm gonna show you more tips and tricks and lures to catch more bass in the heat. Just stay tuned. So the first bait we're gonna be talking about is a jig. So what you're gonna to wanna to do with a jig is you're gonna to wanna to throw, I prefer to throw it on a medium heavy to a heavy action bait casting rod and 20 to 25 pound fluorocarbon. Cause what fluorocarbon does is it sinks and it's a lot uh, more translucent than monofilament or braid. So you're gonna throw this all the way down to the bottom, a couple twitches with the rod and hopefully you're gonna catch some Mondo bass with it. Oh, I got a fish. Got one. Oh, it's not bad at all. Oh, it's not bad. That's a good one. Got that guy on the jig. Not bad, probably about a pound and a half or so. I have my scale, I'm gonna weigh him really quick. Just bombed that jig all the way out in the middle, let it sink to the bottom. Not a bad fish right here, let me go weigh him. All right, this guy is, got you're him. good. Yep, got him. what did I say guys, one and a half, looks like we got one three flat. One three oh. Not a bad way, not a bad jig fish right there. All right, let's let him go. There you go bud. There he goes, he's off. So the next bait we're gonna be talking about is the ribbon tail worm. Personally, I like to throw the ribbon tail worm weightless just cause when it falls, this tail just flutters down so slow and nice. And um, again, I will either bomb this thing to the bottom if I do throw a weight on it. Um, I'll bomb it to the bottom and let it sink, basically fish it like a jig, except I'd um, do the hops longer. So basically like, swim in it a little more than the jig but um i prefer just weight weightless and just throw it around you know grass like on the grass lines if you're out on a boat or you're on a bank try to square yourself up with that grass line and you can just throw at that grass line so you're throwing like on the edge of the weeds and bass will have their face sticking out of that grass line waiting for food to swim by so I prefer to throw this on a medium heavy rod with, um, se I, I use 17 pound monofilament, but I mean, you could also use braid or fluorocarbon. It really doesn't matter when they're going to something moving like this. There we go. Got one. Oh, guy. Okay. Little guy. All right. Boom. On the ribbon tail worm. All right. Here you go, buddy. There he goes. Now, the next bait I'm going to be talking about is the topwater frog. So, I love throwing the frog around cheesegrass. If you guys don't know what cheesegrass is, it's basically like all the dead algae or I guess still growing algae. And it turns kind of like a yellow color and it's just kind of matted across the surface. Um, I love throwing this along the lines of that or even on top of it. Even if you throw it on top of it, bass will still come up and get it. Um, this might be a bit of a stretch even when it's hot because they're either gonna be like way up at the surface trying to eat top water 
or way down at the bottom just taking in that that cool water way down at the bottom of the lake so with this target shallow water lots of vegetation and I love this is a uh, lunker hunt compact frog it's uh, three and a half inches long with the skirt so it's a lot smaller than like a traditional walking frog but this is also a half ounce so it casts like a bullet and you'll be able to get those smaller strikes if smaller fish do end up hitting this bait. Well, I'm going to Cooperstown. That would have been sweet. Uh -huh. But there's, for three days, there's not enough time. There wasn't enough time to really do anything. Else. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're probably going to save that. Got him. I'm the frog. I'm the frog. I set that hook so quick. Uh -huh. As long as he's... Ah, get out of the salad, buddy. Come on, buddy. No, we're chilling. What's up, dude? Oh, little guy. Oh, well. Frogs do catch little fish, guys. Frogs don't just catch big fish. So, guys, frogs catch big fish and little fish, I guess. I guess it can fit in his little mouth, but... Guy was aggressive. I actually set the hook really, really quick instead of waiting for him to get on it. So, uh, there you go. Frog fish in the summer. Nothing better. See you, bud. There he goes. Now, the last bait we're going to be talking about is probably one of the most versatile baits ever made or created. And that is just a wacky rigged worm. Guys, this will work literally any time of the year winter time when it's like negative 20 degrees i don't know about that but winter time when the water temp is really really low or summertime when the water temp is really really hot this bait will catch fish mark my words this bait will catch fish if you go out on the water and you use this bait now these are lake fork fluff worms um made for wacky rigging they just uh, they sink down with a shimmy like they kind of shimmy down to the bottom and you'll see the underwater footage They'll shimmy down to the bottom and then you just kind of pop them up and it doesn't necessarily imitate a worm But it just looks like food to the bass. So I love throwing this on a medium action spinning rod with um, I use 30 pound braid on my spinning rod just so I don't really have to worry about drag that much um, but if you want to get more strikes potentially you can go down to like a 12 pound fluorocarbon which will also work just fine you probably won't break off as long as you set the hook set uh not too hard i get him that time yeah i got him it's a baby What's up, bud? Well, there you have it, guys. I mean, my Senko just flew off, but got that guy on the Wacky Senko. Wacky Senko will never, ever, ever fail in any season. Well, that guy was feisty. I hooked into him, and he just immediately started jumping. Well, there you go. Wacky Senko fish. Little guy, but... Wacky Senko will get the job done, guys, I'm telling you. Ooh, actually give that guy a pretty good dive. So, guys, there are my tips and tricks for catching bass in the heat. I hope they worked. Also, guys, thank you so much for 100 subscribers. I'm really happy about that. Um, Could have done it without you guys. So, I mean, you're going to want to stay tuned. I have an MTV Slam coming up, and I have a giveaway in that MTV Slam. So, you're going to want to stay tuned for that one, and I will see you guys later.